He was a first-round draft pick. He averaged over 16 points per game in his rookie season. He will be representing the U.S. in next month's Olympic Games. I'm talking about Dwayne Wade from the Miami Heat. Dwayne, nice to have you on the program. How are you? I'm doing all right, and you? Doing great, Dwayne. You know, not everybody wanted to be on this team, but when you were asked, you did not hesitate. Why was it so important to you to be a part of all this? Oh, well, first, it's an honor for me um, to, to be a part of, of representing my country in any way or form that I can. And to be on the Olympics is, is something that we all grew up watching. I know everyone know about the Dream Team. And we all grew up watching them guys win the gold medals. And um, for me to be a part of that, to be a part of this team, it was special for, to me. Hey, Dwayne, is it gold medal or bust? Is anything short of a gold medal going to be considered a disappointment? Yeah, well, for us, also, yes. If anything short of gold medal, we're all going to be disappointed. And we know that a lot of our fans are going to be disappointed, but we are. And um, that's our whole goal. And our whole goal right now is, is to win a gold medal and, and nothing less. Hey, Dwayne, talk about the challenge. I mean, you've got to come together in a short period of time. But what we have is a number of NBA players that are used to competing against one another, guys that might have hard feelings about one another, but then you all show up and you compete for the same goal. Can you just leave all that at the door? Is it possible? I think it is possible, especially with the coach that we have in Larry Brown, but also with the teams that we had led by our captains and Tim Duncan and Iverson, guys that um, are great captains for us. But so far, everyone has done that. Everyone's left the ego at the door, um, and we just came out and played as a team. And I think that every day we're getting better by that. So I think about, you know, when it's time to, to go for the gold, I think we'll be, we'll be a team. You know, you mentioned guys like Iverson and Duncan, yourself, other dream teamers and Olympians, guys who are used to being the guy wherever they play, go-to guys on their team. If you've got 12 go-to guys, who's the go-to guy on that team? <laughs> I think uh, you can pick anybody on that team. Uh, I think we'll be comfortable with anybody with the ball in this team. And, um, you know, you start looking around, you're like, man, we got a good team. And, and this is not the team that was originally formed. So the NBA is, is the best basketball in the world. And, you know, that's why, we, that's why anything short of a gold medal is disappointing to everyone. Hey, Twin, looking at what you guys have, I have to imagine you're going to get out and push it. The team's going to get out and run, right? Oh, yeah, we can get out and run. We got some athletic guys all around the board. And uh, I, I love having the ball in the middle where I can just, you know, I got LeBron on one side or I got Sean Marion or anybody on the other side. It's just, it's just great. It's great to be on this team with a, a, a whole bunch of athletes. And, you know, I'm just having fun. Hey, you got athletes, you guys that can get out and run. You've got guys that can finish. But maybe not that one single pure shooter. Is the team going to miss having that one pure spot-up guy? You know, maybe we will, but I think the identity of this team that Coach Brown really is on, he wants us to take the ball to the hole. He really don't want us settling for jumpers, but, you know, maybe we will miss that pure shooter, but I think we got a lot of guys who can knock it down when it's time to knock it down. Hey, Dwayne, speaking of LeBron, you know, this entire past season, it was always LeBron or Carmelo, Carmelo or LeBron, LeBron or Melo. At any point, did you want to step up and say, hey, yo, wait a minute, there are three of us. This argument is LeBron, Carmelo, or Dwayne. <laughs> Uh, and I, I never wanted to step up verbally and say it. I just want to step up and show on the court that I should be a part of the talk. Um, and, and hopefully I did that. And if I didn't, then I, I got to work harder. But, I mean, it doesn't matter anymore. You know, right now it's LeBron, you know, Carmelo, and, and Wade all on the Olympic team together. And we all got one goal to mind, and that's to win the goal. There you go. Then you got the situation in Miami, of course. We're in offseason. It's been already. The big man came in, the diesel, Shaq O'Neal. When it became official that this is the guy that you're going to play with, he is coming to Miami, what was your reaction? Uh, well, first, my reaction, well, I was a little saddened at first because I knew I was losing my buddies and, and Lamar and Karan and Brian. Um, but at the, on the other end, I was very excited. I mean, I'm playing with one of the greatest players ever to play the game. Hey, Dwayne, he was pretty courteous. No sooner than he, when he got there, he showed up and said, hey, let's just be straight about this. This is not my team. This is the young fella's team. This is Dwayne Wade's team. Hey, you are a great young player and a super guy. Is it your team or is it his team? No, it's not, it's not my team. It's not just Shaq's team. It's, it's our team. And, and when I say our, I mean us as the Miami Heat. You know, that's, that's the reason Shaq wanted to come to Miami, because we play as a team. And we want to continue to do that. So, you know, we all got to go out there every night and win together. So it's our team. You know, it's a once-in-a-lifetime opportunity to run with somebody like that. Were you at all concerned that you might be a part of that package, the guys that you mentioned, that you might be coming out here to Los Angeles and not get a chance to run with him? Uh, probably for about five minutes, I thought I was. I saw my face on ESPN. I was like, oh, you know, I was shocked um, because that's when I first heard the rumor. But, you know, I didn't, I didn't, it didn't really matter to me. I was going to continue to work hard, you know, getting ready for the Olympics. And whatever that he wanted to do was, was best for the organization. And I'm just happy right now I'm still a part of it. But, you know, if I wasn't, then, you know, I had to move on. But I'm not. Um, right now I'm still a part of it and hopefully a big part of what the he's trying to do in the future. Dwayne, did you think for even one second what it might be like to play with Kobe Bryant? Did your mind even get to that point? No, my man never got there. I mean, Kobe is an unbelievable player, and I mean, I'm playing with an unbelievable player now, Shaquille, and 
I, I couldn't imagine playing with Kobe neither. So, you know, this is all happened so sudden for me, um, playing, with, playing with Shaq next year. Um, my second year in the NBA playing with the, the most dominant player that ever played the game. So I'm just kind of straight on that right now. Yeah, final question. He guaranteed an NBA championship. He said, I'm going to do it. I'm going to bring it back home to Miami. Is there enough left on that team for you to contend and win an NBA championship? Um, I mean, if you look across the board, you see a lot of uh, names of guys that you probably, you know, don't know as much. But I think guys are really going to get the opportunity this year, like Rasul Butler and Udonis Haslam and guys like Malik, Malik Allen, is to really step up and play with Shaquille Neal. Shaquille's going to make everyone better. And, uh, of course, the core of our guys is, is Eddie Jones, Shaq, and myself. But it's guys that's really going to step up this year, and I think we can. I mean, I think we're right now we're immediate contenders, but once we, we get the continuity that we need and once we get other rest our pieces, I think we will – be there with the teams like Detroit and Indiana. It's going to be tough, but, you know, I think we can do it. Thanks for watching ESPN on YouTube. For more sports highlights and analysis, be sure to download the ESPN app. And for live streaming sports and premium content, subscribe to ESPN+.